హలో వ్యూవర్స్ దిస్ ఈజ్ యువర్ మధుసూదన్ రెడ్డి కుండ్రెడ్డి వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు మై ఛానల్ మ్యాడ్ హాటీ టుడే ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు టాక్ అబౌట్ వన్ మోర్ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ అండ్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ట్రాపికల్ ఫ్రూట్ క్రాప్ దట్ ఈజ్ స్వీట్ ఆరెంజ్ స్వీట్ ఆరెంజ్ బిలాంగ్ టు సిట్రస్ గ్రూప్ సో బిఫోర్ గోయింగ్ టు టాక్ అబౌట్ స్వీట్ ఆరెంజ్ దోస్ హూ డు నాట్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ టు మై ఛానల్ టిల్ డేట్ సో It is my request to please do subscribe to my channel for more and more interesting videos regarding various aspects of horticulture. And watch my videos. If you like my videos, don't forget to share and don't forget to like. If you have any doubts regarding that particular topic, you can ask me in the comment section. Coming to our topic, sweet orange. The botanical name of sweet orange is citrus sinensis and citrus. sweet orange belongs to family rutaceae the origin of sweet orange is china means the sweet orange is native to china the largest producer of sweet orange in the world is brazil in india the sweet orange the majorly sweet orange growing states are maharashtra andhra pradesh and telangana in area the leading state is maharashtra in production the leading state is andhra pradesh followed by telangana especially in telangana the districts like nalgonda and mahabubnagar are leading in citrus cultivation means sweet orange cultivation next so we are going to talk about pollination so this citrus crop is self pollinated crop so citrus is having homogamy next coming to inflorescence the inflorescence of sweet orange is cymos particularly fascicle so fascicle was observed in sweet orange so fascicle means the flowers we will get flowers in clusters so here we can see so these are the fruits of sweet oranges which are in clusters next and one more important point is so sweet orange sweet orange bears on current season growth only so here i'll show you practically so this is, so this is the current season growth so this branch is in green color and i'll show you this so here we can see so this is previous season growth this branch it has been dried so there is no fruit set there is no there is no fruit set on this particular branch because it is previous season growth so citrus will bear only on current season growth and the bearing also axillary bearing means the fruits will get on lateral branches only okay right next one more important point so here we can observe that the spacing between the plants and spacing between the row is 6 into 6 meters means the plant to plant distance and row to row distance is 6 meters so that is recommended spacing and the commercial propagation of sweet orange is tea budding and the important and most popular varieties of sweet orange is mozambi which is uh, popular in maharashtra and the best root stock used for mozambi is rangapur lime and uh, one more important variety is satgudi which is most popular in andhra pradesh and telangana the best root stocks used for uh, satgudi variety is rangapur lime and rock lime and one more important variety in india is blood red so which is popular in north india and the root stocks used for blood red variety is karnakatta and chittikatta and one more important point that i want to share with you regarding sweet orange is that is the major problem in sweet orange cultivation is pre harvest fruit drop so this problem can be overcome by the spraying of auxins like 2 4d or 
plan of x at the rate of 20 ppm and one more uh, important point i want to discuss with you is the another disadvantage of citrus crop is, is the citrus crop is sensitive to soil salinity so it cannot withstand the accumulation of salts in the soil and one more thing is basically citrus crop, sweet orange crop is a moisture loving crop but the excessive moisture also damages the tree means it is susceptible to water logging conditions also now i am going to talk about two important special horticultural operations which are necessary for sweet orange cultivation so the first one is bahar treatment and the second one is pruning so first we will talk about bahar treatment so what is bahar treatment Bahar treatment means so to regulate the fruiting farmers will stop the irrigation for few days to few months it depends upon the season in advance of normal flowering season is called Bahar treatment so the farmer will do the Bahar treatment in correct way the farmer can take three crops per year so the sweet orange cultivation is totally depends upon the skill of the farmer so three what are the three crops so i'll tell you first one is ambe bahar the flowering will take place in <coughs> february and the second one is mirk bahar crop the flowering will takes place in june and the third one is hastu bahar crop the flowering will takes place in october what will happen in bahar treatment if you withhold the wa withhold the water or if you will uh, stop the irrigation for a few days to one or two months the plant will get withered after withering we have to give the sudden irrigation to the sweet orange trees then automatically the flower bud initiation will take place this is the process and somebody will ask that so in the rainy season the plant every day the regularly the rains will come how the plant will get with that so in that particular situation what we have to do is so we have to spray the black sulfur to the trees the spraying of black sulfur is recommended at that particular situation so it will leads to the withering of leaves next one more important uh, special horticultural operation is that is pruning at what time we have to do pruning in uh, sweet orange orchard is early spring or late winter so sweet orange requires a regular pruning means in every year it needs pruning why because sweet orange bears only on current season growth so it will not bear on past seasons growth so that every year we have to cut the previous year branches previous year growth next coming to what are the maturity indices of sweet orange at what time we have to harvest the sweet oranges so the first one is fruit color and the second one is calendar date and the third one is tss and the fourth one is acid if the acid content in the fruit is 0.3% then the fruit will be ready for harvesting and if the tss of the fruit is 12 bricks then it is ready for harvesting and calendar date calendar date means the sweet orange will take 7 months from flowering to fruiting so if 7 months period is over means then the sweet oranges are ready for harvesting and one more is uh, fruit color so fruit color will changes from green color to light green or shiny color means the fruit is ready for harvesting so i'll uh, show you the fruits so what is 
immature fruit and what is matured fruit and what is over matured fruit here we will see so these are the different types of sweet oranges so now i will uh, explain at what stage we have to harvest the sweet oranges so generally in the books we have studied that so if the fruit attain 12 bricks of tss then the fruit is ready for harvesting or if the acidity of the fruit reaches 0.3% then the fruit is ready for harvesting but the farmers they don't know about tss and acidity so in the field what they will observe is so they will see the skin color of the fruit if the skin color of the fruit will changes from dark green color to light green color or shiny green color then the fruit is said to be matured then the orchard is ready for harvesting so here we will see so this is immature fruit so which is green in color so here we will see so this <coughs> is the matured fruit so see the difference so the skin color of the fruit was changed from dark green to light green color so one more fruit here we will see is over mature fruit so here we will see the, this is over mature fruit so the entire fruit color was changed from light green or shiny green to yellow color the farmers they don't buy the over mature fruit and they don't buy the immature fruits so the buyers they don't buy the over mature fruits and green fruits so they will buy only perfect shiny green fruits so these fruits will fetch as higher price in the market uh, other than these so we have the uh, other fruits so here we will see the fruit so which is well matured but it is having sun scald so this is physiological disorder and another one is this is also well matured but it is attacked by the mites so here we will see this is the damage of mango mite so here we will see the harvesting of uh, sweet oranges the harvest harvested sweet and sweet oranges are collected into the bamboo baskets inside the bamboo basket we will see the green grass and paddy straw which acts as a cushioning material means which protect the sweet oranges from contact bruising just coming to yield so sweet oranges yield 16 to 20 tons per hectare so it may vary sometimes it may go up to 25 tons so sometimes farmers will get less is also means 10 to 15 tons also so it will depends upon the type of variety we are using and type of soil also the the average cost of 1 ton of sweet orange is so at this summer season actually in every summer per ton farmer will get 30 to 40000 per ton farmer will get 30 to 40000 rupees in every summer but this time due to the effect of lockdown all the markets in the delhi and hyderabad are closed so that farmers are getting less prices for their produce on an average they are selling their produce at 10000 rupees per ton to 12000 rupees it depends upon the size of the fruit rate may varies from size if the farmers are having bigger sized fruits in their orchard so they will get 1 or 2000 rupees more per ton if the fruits are is in small size so farmers will fetch us less prices anyways so due to the effect of lockdown so farmers are 
getting huge losses on Algonda farmers and Mehbubu farmers of Telangana state and all over India also the farmers belongs to Maharashtra and the farmers belongs to Andhra Pradesh they are getting huge losses due to the effect of lockdown this is all about uh, sweet orange crop so I think I have covered most of the important points regarding sweet orange cultivation so if you like my video so don't forget to share and don't forget to like and tell your friends your juniors and seniors and your colleagues to please do subscribe to my channel and I want to ask you one question from today's class is why pruning is required every year in sweet orange so write your answer in the comment section so in the next video i'll meet you with the another important and interesting crop that is palmera tree until then take care bye bye